All right, daylight. What's going on, bro? Work. Work, man. Work. As you see, man, got the Eiffel Tower back there. <laughs> That's yeah, the State. Eiffel Tower looking incredible, you know what I'm saying? Empire State, but Empire you know, State, all that. Working, man. Working, yeah. I'm working, man. On my nine to five, my mm -hmm. job is done. Mm-hmm. 2015, brother, you've you've really changed the tone of what daylight stands for, it seems like. Um tonight you and Oops put on one of the best battles I've seen in a very long time. And I already tweeted, I said both of your third rounds are candidates for rounds of the year, period. Yeah. How'd you feel about the battle? Um, you know, I knew what I wanted to do this battle. Like, you know, I knew the message that I wanted to get out to the world. You know, uh, first round, like, you know, typical daylight shit. Uh, second round, typical over the head daylight shit. And third round, a daylight they haven't seen before. But what made a, what made the battle crazy is when I wrote my third round, I was writing it telling myself there's nothing Oops could do about this. And yet, he did something about it. Mm -hmm. Instead of firing back at me, he took a whole nother approach. Right. And actually, his third round had nothing to do with the battle at all. He left. It was almost like he left the stage. Like, he <laughs> left the battle and talked about something. He took the battle world to a Maury show. Like or like a like a you know one of those uh, who, who, who like an Oprah, uh, Oprah special. like an Oprah special edition of a uh, a person that's going through a problem. Mm -hmm. It wasn't even about rapping. It wasn't about crowd reaction. It wasn't about none of that. Yeah, it was about just listening to what this man got to say. Mm -hmm. Do you and, think that the two of you might start a trend where people will substitute bars for their opponent for just real raps? Because I mean, I, I believe. They, see, see, you got we live in this world where you got. You got the dumb niggas that what my life about nigga i was in the trap you got those dumb niggas what me and oops did everybody can't do that because they not that in real life yeah true what me and oops did was broke down who we are in real life mm -hmm. that was it and it was it was really it ain't you got you got niggas in the world that say like i'm a real nigga i'm not a real nigga i'm a real man and that was two real man rounds what made you ch take that approach for this battle with this opponent as opposed to all the other people that you faced? Because I respect Oops on a different level. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, I have a message to put in the world. You know what I mean? I'm here for a reason. And Oops also is here for a reason. I give Oops the power. You know what I mean? All the power in the world. He's actually a stand-up brother. He's out there on the front line for the world. But I just feel like there's a lot of niggas on the front line for this shit, but they on the front line for nothing. Because the truth, like I said in my verse, how is it that, you know, you said in your first, like if somebody kill your brother, you know, you got the Glock for riding, but let the cop kill your brother and you're right. in the street screaming, stop the violence. Right, right. So, you know, that's that was my message I wanted to get across to the world. How is it easy for us to kill each other, but it's not easy for us to not necessarily kill them, but do what we do to ourselves to what we to do it to them? Mm -hmm. That was the message I wanted to get across. You know what I mean? And I feel like it's time for me to show people what I'm really here for. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's around that time for people to understand why I live. I live to change the world around, and you know. A lot of people may get offended by what I said, you know what I'm saying? When I said Martin Luther King was a buster. Mm -hmm. A lot of people can take that how they want to take it. But at the end of the day, we can't be peaceful with people who not trying to be peaceful with us. It, it doesn't make sense. Like name one war that was won on peace. Right. It just doesn't happen. It, does, it, does, it don't matter how much we protest, how much we march and hold hands. Shit don't mean nothing to the people with the guns. Nothing. They go all oh, the niggas in the streets marching again. They'll calm down in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. We need to start shooting shit back. Was well, as incredible as Lux's third round versus Calico was as incredible as Surf's third versus Hitman and Charlie's uh, third versus T Rex. I don't think it's ever been a factor in battle rap history where multiple people from the crowd have actually broke out in tears oh, during see, a battle. A you and Oops yeah. actually made people cry in the crowd. Yeah, people were crying. How does that make you feel, man, to move people that much with your words? Um, like I said, you got 
when it's real, you know, niggas, when it's real, and you got when it's real, bro. This that's two different meanings. What I did tonight was real. I showed niggas the real me, you know, like the, a side of me they never seen, and now they understand why I do what I do. It's life.